Welcome back, guys. Another video, a different camera position, a different lens, but that is because I'm taking you guys into a practice example today. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about motivation because motivation is this thing that comes and goes. Sometimes we have motivation, sometimes we don't. In fact, a lot of the times we don't. And so what we do is that we go on the internet, we go to YouTube and we start looking for motivational videos. We search no fat motivation and then we get some motivation. But then the next day, or sometimes more like the next hour, we've lost that motivation again. And so the cycle repeats. We start looking for motivation again or we relapse. Or just, but it just doesn't work. The motivation doesn't stick around. It's as if we never have enough motivation. Now I think this is largely because of one important thing, and that is the fact that the best motivation comes from within yourself and not from outside. And so while I think that watching a motivational video on YouTube is not necessarily a bad thing, I mean, I am creating a motivational video right now. I am not trying to say that what I'm doing is useless. At least I certainly hope not. But the thing is that you need to have that internal motivation as well. As long as you keep relying on external motivation, it's never going to be enough. It should be an addition to the motivation you already have from yourself. If you already have the motivation yourself and you watch a motivational video, then it kind of re re-enlightens your motivation, right? And then you're like, oh yeah, wait a second, that was why I was doing it. Now I feel ready to go. But too many of us are too reliant on external motivation. And so you get stuck into this pattern where you watch a video and then you become a little bit motivated, but the next day you need to watch another video and you need to watch another video and just keep repeating itself. And so instead of just endlessly watching motivational videos, here is something else that I suggest you do. Now, this is just a technique that I use myself. I'm not going to claim that this is magically going to change your life, that this is like the ultimate technique to change motivation forever. But it is something that I use myself and it's having quite a lot of success for me. So I hope it's going to have some success for you guys as well. Let's just get straight into it. The thing I do, sometimes I describe this as the step back method. The thing I do is this, it's very simple. If I'm on the computer, just an example, right? And I lack the motivation to work or I feel tempted to start watching pornography and start fapping. What I do is I take a step back from what I'm doing because it is usually our habits that trigger our bad behavior, right? It is our habits that keep us stuck into these patterns of life that we have. And so what I do is I just, I close down all the tabs of everything that I'm doing. Maybe I even turn off the computer screen and I just roll back my chair a little bit and I sit back and I do nothing, literally nothing. I do not try to force myself to think of motivational things. No, I do absolutely nothing. Now, sometimes it can actually help to do a little extra and go to like a different room. So I just get up out of my chair. I go to a different room. Maybe I sit down in the bedroom. I sit down on my bed. My bedroom is a little bit of a mess right now. Or I sit on like the floor, right? I literally sit down on the floor because I don't really know why, but there's just something there's something extra humbling about sitting on the floor for some reason. Let me just turn the camera around a little bit because the window is on that side. No, that doesn't help, but okay. I sit down on the floor and I do nothing. And for some reason, doing nothing, just, it sparks that motivation, right? I force myself, well, force myself. I sit down on the floor for like one minute and then literally one minute later, I'm like, yes, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do the right thing. I, I want to work towards my goals. I don't want to watch the dirty videos. I want to do the right thing instead of the wrong thing. And I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I notice this pattern every time. And I also notice this when I am doing other things where I'm like doing nothing. So for example, I am uh, going for a 
long drive in the car. I'm going for a walk. Or maybe these times, maybe you guys recognize this, where you're on like a vacation and you don't spend the whole day on a phone or a computer screen, right? But you have like some more mental clarity. For some reason, whenever I experience these moments of boredom or clarity, I don't care how you want to call it, but these moments where you just do nothing, I get inspired to do the right thing. I get very motivated to work towards my goals and I it becomes easier to not do the bad things. And then whenever you hop back into your normal daily patterns again, you know, where you sit in front of a computer and you do what you always do, you get caught up in your daily habits. And that's exactly where you start to lose motivation again and where you become tempted to do the bad things again, right? It's as if your normal daily habits inspire you to do the bad things. And as if these moments of clarity or these moments of boredom inspire you to do the right thing. And so what I do whenever I notice that I am lacking motivation or that I am tempted to do the bad things is that I just remove myself from these daily habits for just a minute. I sit down on the floor for literally just one minute or however long it takes, but usually it's like one minute for me. And then one minute later, I feel ready to go. You know, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, why am I still sitting here? I want to go back to the computer and I want to do the right thing. Now, this is just a quick little tip, guys. It is something that I have experimented with myself. I haven't really seen a lot of other people talk about this on like the internet, but it makes sense to me. It works for me, so I wanted to share this with you guys. I hope it works for you guys as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.